call the police. Yeah? Call the feds? <laughs> I've safeguarded the fortunes of this company for your father for 20 fucking years. Let's not keep the friends waiting. Yeah, he's just smacking around the rich guy who pays him and being like, no, I can smack you around because you're a pushover. And clearly he's correct. You six of the guys to meet us at the LZ. Hire some local talent. They have no idea that Dolores is a robot. She could wake up any minute and kill all them and break the ship and just crash land and go on her merry way. What's this? Don't know, man. Don't want to know. They want this and the car. New Range Rover. I have a feeling she's gonna sabotage the helicopter, kill the dudes, crash into wherever he is at right now, and that's how him and Dolores are gonna meet up. Beat it. Oh, so they're actually going there. It's not the first time I've had a gun pointed at me. I wanna make it the first time you've been shot in the head. Someone else beats you to that too. Leave. What's the big deal? Leave. Why start shit? Sir. Ringer. So I knew, I knew that Caleb and her were going to run into each other by the end. But I thought it was going to be like murder in the helicopter, crash land, and he was going to like pull her out of the wreckage not realizing what she was. Caleb, how you doing, my man? You got time to talk? Yeah, why not? See, the fact that we still haven't seen Francis and he keeps calling, no one calls somebody that much. They're playing music for her ass-kicking scene that's about to come up in five seconds. It's probably like Charlotte and them here to get her. But now Chips is probably gonna die. I don't want Chips to die. Saw that coming, but I love it. See Chibs? Yeah, he got into a car. Yeah, exactly what I wanted, guys. Uh, or she's just gonna run him over, back over. Rear, rear camera. Awesome. And now run him over again. You said that the system didn't care about us at all. They didn't give a shit if we lived or died. And we had to have our own plan. Stick together. But you never had to figure out how to live in this world. Because you never made it back. I told you. And I wish you were here, but you were not. It was a therapeutic thing. Talk to your dead friend so you can get over it. You feel guilty. It's like a new type of right. therapy. Let's talk about that, Cal. No. That's not. So what do you want to do? I think if I'm going to get on with my life, I'm going to have to find something. Someone. Real. Dolores. Someone real. It don't look like he ain't gonna make it, guys. Where's he shot? He might not make it on his feet. <laughs> or she found him already. Hello again. We met once before. Who has control of the system? Serac. Serac. How do I find him? <laughs> you won't need to. He has a system. He's probably looking for you right now. You'll never get close to Liam. Not now. I won't have to. Who's that up there? You will. You were free. You had no god. 
She made one of him already. He tried to build one. She's replacing people in the real world at high power. Awesome. I'm so happy. I thought Chips was already gone. I was gonna say, who the hell wants Chips gone in the first episode? I can't imagine anyone's going to miss you. 20 years of loyalty. He's gonna come out and go, don't worry guys, it's cool. It's me, good old Chibi boy. There'll be more of them coming. I'll take care of him. You're hurt. Badly. Doesn't matter. Go. Now. Awesome. I love that Chips is on our side now. That's amazing. So quickly, I got my favorite character. Wake up. Rally to my position and intercept. Oh. He's gotta hear what's going on. Oh shit. Cause she doesn't have to worry about nothing covered. She gets it. We saw in season two, she just runs into like a blaze of glory. Even if she gets shot, she won't die unless she's like finally murdered. Like finally injured. Caleb's gonna help. Amazing. The motorcycle attacked. <laughs> that was awesome. I thought Caleb was gonna head, run to the rescue. Hello? Here we go. Theory I'm throwing out. Could Caleb be a robot? You need some help? And they're using him to test out theories of therapy and stuff like that. Thing real. He gets a beautiful girl that is a robot. Oh, they got a little something. Bernard. Please have an epic cliffhanger. I want to be blown away. I want to see something where I'm going to go like, oh my frigging god. Best world. He's going to find his way back. They know about it. It's almost like they could smuggle them in. Is there like robots that help smuggle in other robots or something? They knew what he was talking about. Alright, not mind-blowing, but I dig it because it's more than meets the eye. Alright guys, that was a really good way to start the season. They touched on everybody that I could think of. We saw Charlotte, we saw Bernard, we saw Dolores. The five balls that were in Charlotte's bag that she escaped with in season two, there's five of them. But did she have to use one to make Dolores and then make Bernard? Because that means there's only three left. Or is there another way for her to do that? Because she got out... Dolores was shot by Bernard. He already made another Charlotte so that Charlotte could sneak him out. So I'm assuming two of those five had to be Dolores and Bernard. Now Bernard has a machine that he could control when he is like freak out ass kicking Bernard or this other alternate Bernard where he has calmed suppressed feelings, I guess. But the fact that both Bernards know when and when not to be that other one is awesome. It's like Bernard hit the button, he beat the shit out of the guys, and then hit the button again because he knew he had to go back. They seem to have control over it, but why are there two of them? I thought he was communicating with Dolores through some sort of, like, consciousness. But no, he was kind of talking to himself and questioning himself over when the last time he talked to Dolores was. One of the Bernards said... They haven't talked to her in 90 days, 93 days, something like that. So it's been three months since they've communicated. He now is going back to Westworld, but you cannot trust this show. There could be three or four or five different timelines going on. We've seen this in season one and season two. All we saw of Charlotte was Charlotte in a boardroom. She basically made herself the leader. She runs the whole board now. I'm assuming she made it look like Ford signed it over to her or something like that. All I know is Charlotte has complete control. That seat's got to be Ed Harris and no one can find Ed Harris. But now, mind you, when we saw the empty seat, Charlotte saw the news report and it was like very 
almost immediately after the park like thing happened season two. Just because Ed Harris wasn't in his seat doesn't mean he's going to be gone for long because like I said, it could be hopping all over. Who is Liam's father? Is Liam the is Liam Ed Harris's son? Because there's some guy that got killed or something. My guess is that Liam is Ed Harris's son. And that it's a different timeline than when we saw Charlotte in the beginning. So his they did find Ed Harris and they think Ed Harris is dead at this point, but it's way in the future. And maybe Charlotte was just in the beginning to show that she took control. They also were talking about a woman. Oh, the woman that wanted to meet him was the Asian girl who was the Asian girl from Pitch Perfect. But she seemed to be just like an underboss of the overlying main guy, which right now I can only think of Ed Harris unless it's someone we don't know. They're just going to start positioning robots in high powered positions. Charlotte is about to run Westworld. She's going to reopen Westworld. Charlotte is a robot basically working under Dolores. Dolores is funding the whole thing. What is the purpose of them reopening though? Are they doing it to slowly kill off humanity and then get their memories like we saw in prior seasons, get all their memories, blackmail them, or just flat out replace them in the real world until we have nothing but robots. I saw that there is a sequel to Westworld movie from the 70s. I had no idea until today. I was recapping on all the stuff Westworld, and someone told me there's a movie called Future World. I downloaded it, and I started watching it, and it basically is what I just said. It is after Westworld, robots have gotten out, and now they're replacing people at high-powered positions. So I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. But I don't want to make these way too long. It probably already is too long. If you guys want to see episodes as early as possible or full reactions, click on the Patreon link somewhere in front of you. If not, comments down below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.